Well, um, divorce doesn't necessarily mean the end of life. Divorce can be a stepping stone on which the both of you can build a stronger and better marital, financial, and sexual life. Lastly, I need not overemphasize that the both of you needn't become enemies because of this. And why that look? With that being said, I wish to inform both of you that the divorce process has finally been concluded. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you, Barista Giwa. Thank you so much. You know, your sermon was... It was interesting and heart, heart trending. So I'm now officially single. I'm now a single lady, a single mom. What is the society going to say about me that I failed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> not fair. At what point do I have my check, please? Right away. Here is a check for three hundred million naira. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barry Stegu. Thank you so, so much. And you know what? It was really not nice knowing you. And it certainly wasn't nice marrying you. But you know what? Having your money is so amazing. It's so awesome. Do have a good life. <laughs> to have money. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I need to call my girl. Let me call my girl. Oh! <sighs> money is good. Whoever said money is all good. The person, the person is poor. The person has not tasted money. What? I don't did it. Hey, Chewie. Hi. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Um. Guess who is the latest multimillionaire in town? Just guess. Guess! Yes, yes, that's your girl! Yes, done did it. I'm done, he's done, we are done, and my account is swimming in millions! Yes, girl. Oh, sorry, uh, Mrs. Businesswoman. Anyway, see, listen, yeah. Just book it right to DPK Estate. The realtor there has some places to show me, so I'll be waiting for you. Don't worry, I'll pay for your ride. Yes, please. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Freedom. Millions. Everything in my pocket. <laughs> oh. I swear for love, they carry me go. For love, the only you I know. I swear for your love, I go follow you, go. Cause for love. Hey, sweetie. Um, I I know that this might sound like I'm dropping a bombshell, but I want you to know that I ended things with your mother. I mean, I I, I woke up this morning and. Nothing was just the same. So I went through with the divorce, processed, and everything is now finalized. Look, I know this is going to be hard on you, and I really don't have the courage to face you right now. So when you hear this, please don't, don't call me back. This is why I'm sending a voicemail, because I don't think I can speak to you. When... When I'm done processing this, I'll, I will call you back, okay? And and sweetie, I want you to know that I wanted the best for us. I mean, I did not envisage this at all. 
But in all of this, I love you. I really love you. And I want you to be a good girl for daddy. Always. All right, bye. This is my new edifice. <laughs> oh my god, this is your house? Yes! <laughs> Jesus! This place is lovely! I know. You need to check out the interiors upstairs. Like, you need to see the master bedroom. That one, it's a wow you. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Oh, sorry. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> With that being said, I wish to inform both of you that the divorce process has finally been concluded. You know what? This divorce has been lingering in the air. It's been long overdue, you know. Oh. Sarah, divorce is bad. But that has been long awaited or that has been lingering for years or centuries. <laughs> oh, is this God. a joke to you? Listen, it took us years to realize that we're not meant for each other. Like the same Hollywood, irreconcilable differences. It took Anderson years to realize that we're never a right woman for any man. Now listen and listen carefully. Don't you dare come into my house to disrespect or judge me.
Beverly. Did I not say that I'll do the calling? So why are you calling me? I'm sorry now. The biggest landlady. My odogures. Uh -uh, I'm begging you now. Come to me now. It's okay. Chimi, I will not have anyone judge me. You either take me as I am, or you fuck off. No worries, fine. It's okay. Do you like this place? Yeah, it's so fine. It's lovely. <laughs> the quality of these clothes are top notch. <laughs> Babe. Yes? Where is this place? Well, this is my little appreciation from me to you. This is all yours. Really? Yes. Yes, I know you're... Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I'm serious. Stop it. Oh my God, <laughs> thank you so much. This is my place. Yes. Huh? You bought this for me? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. All oh, this for me. Thank yes. you so much. <gasps> when did you even shop all these clothes? Well, when you have money, anything can be done. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so now, I'm no longer the latest landlady. You are the latest CEO in town. Yes, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, when did you even shop for all these clothes? Yeah. You are so lovely. Oh my god. Life is for <gasps> the living. Luxury. Jesus.
this might sound like I'm dropping a bombshell. But I want you to know that I ended things with your mother. I mean, I, I, I woke up this morning and... Isn't it? You did what? This is elaborate nonsense. Now, why would you do this? Isn't it? Isn't it? You mean Beverly's not in America? She's in Nigeria? Okay, isn't it? So, why did you buy her a flight ticket and give her the address to my new house without informing me? Who does that? Isn't it? If not for the blood that runs through our veins, if not for the fact that we are sisters, this thing you did, I will not take it from anybody. Why would you? Make it make sense now. What's wrong? Nothing, my love. <laughs> my one and only mommy. My baby girl. I missed you. I missed you, well, my love. Ah, <sighs> Mom. Yes, my baby. You know you still look as beautiful as I last saw you two years ago. When your dad came visiting in America. Oh, please. Don't flatter me. <laughs> eh? Look who is talking. Your own beauty is impeccable. Like, it is timeless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mommy. I know, I bet I do. <laughs> Mom. Yes, baby. You wouldn't lie to me for anything in this world, right? <laughs> lie to you? Why? What for? I have no reason to lie to you. Are you sure? My darling, there's nothing to lie about. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Smells nice, yummy. News flash. Besides my beauty being intact, mm -hmm. my culinary skills is top notch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna learn cooking from you then. Definitely, you have to learn. It's not this junky people pack yourselves with. <laughs> See, uh, what's her name? Hilda Bessie. Is learning when when it comes when it comes to me. I like, don't play. Old, don't mm. Mm. My mom, the chef. Chef, mommy <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll leave my kitchen. I'll mm. go and change. Go mm. before you finish all my carrots. Are you a rabbit?
a difficult and wicked task you're asking me to do. What is difficult and wicked in asking you to take my side? Sarah, it's one thing to take your side, but it's another thing to lie on an innocent man. It's evil. Ex-husband, Chiwi. Ex-husband. Sorry, ex-husband. Sorry. In our 20 years of friendship, have I ever asked you to do something for me? No. But on the contrary, I'm on the receiving end. Exactly. So now, all I ask of you to just do me this one favor. Please. Can I just tell her the truth and tell her everything that happened with the divorce? Telling her the truth to keep her loggerheads with me. Beverly is all I've got. Well, besides money. But she means a whole lot to me than money. So please. Can I just keep quiet and not say anything to her? Your silence will trigger her suspicion. If intelligence was a human being, that would be Beverly. Please now. Oh, Chimo. You know what? It's fine. Sira, come back. I'll do it. Beverly! And when your mother got tired of it all, I started crying for help. Your father filed for a divorce. What? Yes, he paid her off and kicked her out. I'm so sorry to say this, Beverly, but I had no choice. That beast of a man! Beverly, don't say that. He's still your father. Auntie Shinwei, are you really saying this? He's not my father. He cannot be my father. <laughs> it's okay. Don't cry. I know how you feel. Everything will be okay. To... My mom had to go through all this because of him. It's okay. Don't cry. Okay, it's okay, everything will be fine, okay? <laughs> yes, Beverly. It was your father who filed for the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> but you are his lawyer. You would have talked him out of me. It's fine. But... but your father already had his mind made up. <laughs> and my mom. Well, your mom really didn't want the divorce, but uh, your father was hell bent on divorce. <laughs> oh, my mom had to go through all this. <sighs> okay, I want to ask something. Did my dad pay my mom off? Well, um, I'm afraid yes. Okay, Mom. Shylock. 
is worse than in Shylock. I know. I was married to him. Why are you asking me why your darling daughter is not taking your call? See, please, do not stress me. Don't come with your wahala. Uh-uh. Why are you throwing a tantrum? Okay, listen. If you care so much, why not take a flight to ATL and go ask her yourself? Why are you putting me through the stress now? Uh-uh. Shylock? Yes, Shylock. What's the meaning of this? You almost hit my car. What is wrong with you? Are you blind? I'm sure it's a woman. I, I said it. It's definitely a woman. You guys are just different creatures. Why would you be on the road if you know that you cannot drive? Are you blind? Did you just see my car? You're sorry. Sorry for yourself. So what's the meaning of all this? What's going to happen now? And what are you doing walking close to me? Look, if you come close to me, I'm going to slap you. How can you almost hit my car? What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? What do you even think you're doing? Are you not hearing what I'm telling you? Are you not going to apologize for what you just did? Sorry. Sorry for yourself. What are you sorry for? Because I'm very upset right now. Why would you do that? When you're driving, don't you use your, don't you use your eyes? Didn't you see me? Is that all you're going to say? So what's going to happen here now? Why are you coming close to me? I'm sorry. Carry me go for love, not only you I know. 
swear for your love, I go follow you go. Cause for love, not only you I know. I'm seeing the other side of love. You know funny you should see the way it broke my heart. And no funny you I was broken and shot up to you came along. When everything else that I wanted was love. You showed, brought light, brought everything I need. And when you smile, I know that you're everything I need. When you smile, I know that you're everything I need. You are everything I want, everything I need, girl. Everything I want, your love, your love. Everything I want, you're everything I need. was money I've seen a demon I've seen it work See the way she talks She can do anything Can't eat your cake and have it left No, that is not the way the story ends You can do anything You can go any length You can give it all you got But this is not how it is.
<laughs> or you may be interested in marrying a divorcee who has a 15 year old daughter that refuses to take his calls for reasons unknown to anyone wait are you trying to ask me to marry you <sighs> maybe maybe which means you're not certain hmm? so maybe when you're a lot more certain about what you want then I will maybe consider I hmm? see yeah <laughs> because is this your idea of a proposal? Like, what the hell? Right? Yeah. Okay, in the uh, in the spirit of being certain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you. Ronke, Coca, to marry me. Yes. I swear for love, they carry me go. For love, not only you I know. I swear for your love, I go for you. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> I'm Cindy, you're the sign of love. You know, funny, you should see it the way it broke my heart. And no funny, you I was broken and shot up till you came along. <laughs> when everything else that I wanted was love. What in the world is actually going on here? Do you know her? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Anderson. Who's oh, Sarah? Ronke, this is Sarah, my ex-wife. Oh, hi. Hi. And Sarah, this is my beautiful darling, Ronke. Nice to meet you. My place of joy. My jewel of inestimable value. Stop. My Oshobo princess. Oh. <laughs> My Yoruba angel, like I like to call her. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Can you guys just get a room? This PDA is totally unnecessary. Uh, yeah. On the contrary, you know, she's actually very pretty. Thank you, Ma. You're also really beautiful. He kind of has a speck, but please call me Sarah, not Ma. It's fine, I told her you're real age. I told her that you're almost 40 years old, so it's just a sign of respect. And also, Ronke is just 25 years old. <laughs> Small girl. And she's young. And uh, did I also mention that our wedding is gonna be in 21 days?
mom 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 if you continue like this you're going to hurt yourself myself hurt myself after what your father did to me today in the boutique what else does he want hurting myself is like child's play your father brainwashed that Yoruba demon right in front of me he called her young and called me old Kissing, cuddling, holding, romancing her right in front of me. Oh, God. Do you love me? Do you love me? Mom, I love you more than anything in this world, and you know it. Beverly, if you love me like you just said you do. I need you to do something for me. I want your father back. What? Yes. Seeing him today with that girl made me realize I love him. I do love him. I want us back together as a family. Maybe that is what you want, right? That is what you've always wanted. Mom, let that go. No! No, I can't. Seeing them together at the supermarket. Made me realize how much I love your father. How much I want us to be together. Ben, baby, listen. Picture us together. Me, you, and your dad together in the house under the same roof as a family. Isn't that what you want? So please, fight for us. Fight for us. No, oh, it's okay. Please. It's okay. You are the only one. Who has unlimited access to the house? So you will go there and you will destroy that charade of a thing they call a relationship. Because I know they are not happy. Oh. And guess what? He said their wedding is in 21 days' time. 21. So please, baby. Please. Okay, mom. You will do this for me. You will do this for us. <laughs> you will do this for our family. You don't want to call. A woman just a few years older than you, stepmother. Is that what you want? No, mommy. So please fight for us. Yeah. Fight for this home. Don't let another woman okay. take your father away it's from okay, me. Mommy. Don't let another woman take it away from me. you already. I wish you didn't have to go. I miss you too. I'm going to miss you. Don't cry. You have to toughen up. <laughs> you know what you're going for, right? You have to toughen up. Let's go. We 
remember you're on a mission. Do not get distracted. Okay? Okay, mom. We are victors. We do not give up. We are warriors like the woman king. Your father is like the serpent that was sent to deceive Eve in the Garden of Eden. Give him no fair hearing. Okay, mom. I'll do just that. Remember, you have a mission to accomplish. To not get distracted. I'll miss you, mom. Take care Beverly, when did you get back? What are you doing in Nigeria? The question should be, what have you done to us? My mom and I! So what lies have your mom been feeding you? I take exception to that. You're calling my mom a liar. Beverly, come on. I'm not saying that. And you haven't answered my question. What are you doing back in Nigeria? Why are you not taking my phone calls? Beverly, right? How about we- Hold it! Stay out of this! Dad, I thought you said you loved me. I thought you said I mean the whole world to you. Beverly, of course I love you. And of course you mean the world to me. Why would you say a thing like that? Then why do this to my mom? Look, Bev, I, 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 didn't, I did not treat your mom in, in any disrespectful way. I was just doing what I thought was right. My daughter on a flight. My 15 year old daughter on a flight from the States to Nigeria without informing her parents. What is wrong with you? You know what? It's fine. You and your sister, the both of you are selfish bastards. You can go to hell. Maybe I should just leave. Baby, baby, why? I don't know. I sense trouble. Come on, it's nothing. Maybe I should just go back home and leave you to sort this oh, out. Baby, come on, please don't go. Stay with me, stay here. No. You need to sort this out and you need time and space. I insist. Please. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. 
allow you harm my woman and i will not let you walk away from my mom it's already too late she's gone dad you lie you lie look the deed has been done i and your mother are already divorced dad that's not true you're doing this because of that bitch i am not i met her long before i divorced your mother oh really yes really yes do you know why i filed for a divorce because i felt like your mother was cheating on me Father, it's like the serpent that was sent to deceive Eve in the Garden of Eden. Yes, and she was cheating on me with my friends and a few other colleagues. Yes, Dad, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. She was also trying to ruin my life. Give him no fear here. Look, and she was also. Please, please, let her live. You shouldn't respond to anger with anger. Hmm? Look, at this part, I do not give you flight. <sighs> Babe, we need to just. Look, you're not listening to me. I will not allow Sarah come and ruin my happiness for the second time. Sarah? If you're going to sit there and tell me that you don't see my ex-wife behind her visits, then you need to wake up and read more books. Uh. If you know you're not my dad, just leave. Hi, Beverly. I've actually heard a lot about your beauty. But to be honest, I think the story is pale in comparison to how beautiful you look. Even while you cry, just leave. You're not only beautiful, you're smart. Get out! I know you want me to leave, okay? But I'm just here to ask that we get along. We don't have to be best friends. Well, I believe we can get along. Get out. 
Beverly. What is wrong? Okay, I know you're not just beautiful, you're also smart. How about you hear both sides of the story? I want to go! Okay, I'll leave. But just listen to your father's side of the story and pick a side. Beverly, get out. What? You heard me. I said, get out! Excuse me. I want to prepare something to eat. Oh, well, I'm already making breakfast for everyone. Oh, really? Yes. I don't like people in the kitchen while I prepare meal. Besides, this is my father's house, and it's also my house, so get out! Beverly, you do. Please! Leave now, I'm gonna get messy prostitute! Alright, okay, it's your father's house, I get it. You can ask me out of your space if you want, you have the right to do that. But what you don't have a right to do is call me. Names. So, what are you going to do about it? Told you. I don't want to see you again. Leave my leave clothes. Me alone. Daddy, leave my leave. clothes. I told you, leave this place. Clothes. Leave my clothes. Leave my clothes. I don't want to see you again. Daddy, you're wicked. You're wicked. Leave my clothes. Daddy, don't do that. Daddy, you're mean. Daddy, you're evil. You're wicked. some time alone, Andy. Babe, come on, don't leave me. Please. Look, I need to go home and you need to sort this out. But I've already sorted it out. Beverly is gone. But she's not. I said Beverly has gone. They are here. What? And who is this stark raving mad person who had the audacity to throw my daughter out of her father's house? Silence. You can't speak. Baby. Mom. Let's go. Babe. Babe. 
What? Babe, come on. Baby, please don't leave. Come on. I need to leave so you can sort this out. Babe, how am I going to sort this out? I need you to sort this out. What you need is audacity. You don't need me. Okay? Beverly. Yes, mommy. I am super proud of you. Thank you, mommy. Now, the first stage is complete. Yes. Pharaoh and his chariots have messed up. Now it's time for the children of Israel to return back to the promised land. Yes, mommy. It's high time you spoke to your father and to let him back into our home. My house. You know, did I saw him with the other lady? Something inside of me desired to want him back. I wanted us to be back as a family, together in one house. Mom, don't worry about that. You're going to have us back, together, again. I believe in you. Thank you. So, Go into your father's house and feel at home. And let me know if you feel uncomfortable at any slightest thing. I'll be here. Mom, you have nothing to worry about. Nobody is going to make me uncomfortable in my father's house. I trust you. <laughs> All right. All right, darling. Sarah is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I will get what I want, when I want it, how I want it. <laughs> and she left in an Uber. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
she has left this house. Ah! Oh, this is good news! Mm. There's a long hidden secret you must hear. I was broken and shot up till you came along. When everything else that I wanted was love. It's you showed, brought light, brought everything I need. And when you smile, I know that you're everything I need. When you smile, I know that. You're everything in me. You are everything I want. Everything I need, girl. Everything I want. Your love, your love. Everything I want. You're everything I need, girl. Everything I want. Your love, your love. Everything I needed was just love. But everything you wanted was money. I've seen a demon. I've seen it work. See the way she talks. She can do anything. 
Evan. I have cancer. What? I just got diagnosed. Oh my god. I've already accepted my fate and began to face reality. Jesus Christ. Oh. Beverly. Ma. Anderson is innocent. <laughs> innocent of what? He... He didn't just kick your mother out with men around notes. <laughs> so what did he do then? Your mother was an adulterous woman. What? Yes, she slept with your father's friends and business associates. Oh no, Jesus Christ! But Auntie Shewe, you told me! Yes, I know what I told you. Your mother forced me to lie to you. Oh no! But this is still the backdrop. Auntie Shewe. So what's the secret then? Anderson is not your biological father. What?! Yes. That has been a very long secret between your mother and I. No. And she went, no. No, no, no. No!
was money. I've seen a demon. I've seen it work. See the way she talks. She can do anything. Can't eat your cake and have it left. No, that is not the way the story ends. You can do anything. You can go anywhere. You can give it all you got. But this is not how it is. 